Hi everyone, thanks for joining me here today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Irene. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my entire winter jacket collection from Aritzia, old and new. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So throughout this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys obviously my winter coats that I have from Aritzia that I've collected throughout the years. I'm gonna go with some of my oldest ones first, the ones that they don't even sell anymore that I don't remember the names of, but I will be showing you guys mod shots in between as well. This is one of my oldest Aritzia coats. It is such an old, TNA jacket. I owned this since I was in university. This was over six years ago, at least seven, eight years ago now. It's been holding up really great. I don't wear it as much anymore. More. Obviously, I actually rarely touch it anymore, but it's good for those days when I'm just taking my dog out for a walk. It's hardy and it's good to go. And honestly, if you are like an OG Aritzia girl, you'll know this jacket. It was so popular back in the day. Maybe one of these days it'll come back into style. Kind of like how Uggs has kind of made the comeback. Well, see the second coat I'm gonna show you is this one right here and this was one of my first pea coats it was my, actually my first pea coat that I ever bought from Aritzia it's so old that this chain part has kind of broken off it is from Babaton and it is one of their signature style pea coats with all the buttons coming down I don't know if you guys remember this but this was also a very in style back in the day, years ago, again, when I was in university. And this one has been worn and loved and it's still held up really well. Everything inside is perfectly fine. There's no rips, there's no tears. The only thing is just that this little chain right here, which is essentially like doesn't have a function in my brain. It's just broken. But other than that, even all the buttons have held on, all these big buttons that are here, and I remember just absolutely loving this jacket and I wore it all the time when I was younger going to university and it was just, it's it brings back memories but it's not a coat that I really wear anymore. This jacket is in a size small. It's a little bit big but I think that it wouldn't hurt to have a jacket that's a little bit looser in case anything happens and I gain weight then I have a jacket that I can wear but yeah that one's one of my it's my oldest pea coat and I have loved it to death the next one here is another one that I don't know the name of but it is from Wilfred and it's this one that doesn't have like a collar it's kind of like like a round neck line right here and then it's a zipper that goes all the way down it's a straight jacket it doesn't have much to it it's all wool if I'm not mistaken yeah it's definitely wool it's pilling it's so warm it's so nice for like the spring days when it's still chilly but not or cold enough to wear like a full-on winter jacket or anything like that this goes really well with dresses and things like that I'll try this on for you guys this one has also held up really well again this is one that I don't really touch anymore and they don't sell the style anymore loved this one and I still still have it because it's nice to have a jacket that goes well with dresses. This next coat that I'm going to share with you guys is one of my favorite pea coats, so much so that I bought it in two colors. So this is the Babaton Connor coat. It's a little bit hard to tell the details, but it's got this really dramatic collar here. And then it has long buttons that go all the way down. This is a little bit of a longer jacket. It goes down past my knees. And then it has this tie waist as well. So I'm going to show you guys the green one because it might be easier for you to tell the details. This is the green one that I bought. And I love it. It just, the color of it goes really well, I feel like, with my complexion and hair color. It's just gorgeous. It's this beautiful jacket, and it's got, again, the tie waist here, and it just goes down longer. I think they have some different lengths now, if I'm not mistaken. They had longer, shorter versions. Ritzia still carries this one, and I just love how this looks. Every time I wear this, it makes me feel so put together, so elegant and professional, and it's just, if you wanna dress up one day and you need a coat to help you out, this Connor coat is just the perfect coat for that. It's beautiful. Mind you, it doesn't keep you very, very warm, and so just keep that in mind. And because it is more of a fitted look, it's not going to allow you to wear a lot of thick, chunky knits to layer underneath. This next jacket that I have here is this one right here. If I'm not mistaken, it was called the Babaton Hudson jacket. So this looks very similar to like the puffer jackets that Lululemon sells nowadays. And honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised if it's basically the same thing. I bought this around the time when they launched 
like the puffer jacket line. This was still under the Babaton line. As you can see, it says Babaton there. And I got it in this shiny black material and I get so many compliments when I wear this. Some people like have said that it looks like almost like a Montclair. And I'm like, oh girl, I paid way less than a Montclair. This jacket has been great. It keeps me decently warm. It's warm up to like minus 15 degrees and it's just really nice it's a nice statement piece but at the same time because it is black it's not too crazy and too out there fits down to about my waist area and it's very very comfortable this next jacket that i'm going to share is actually a leather jacket so i wouldn't consider this necessarily a winter jacket but i thought i'd throw it in here anyways because leather jackets are timeless and a lot of times people can make it work regardless of the season they're pretty transitional so this one right here is this beautiful Wilfred Free. I'm pretty sure it's called the Richard leather jacket. It is this cropped black leather jacket with a lot of these thick metal detailing here. It's got detailing on the side here. It's got that patchwork on the elbow here. This jacket I really really like. My only problem is I've got these chunky arms which honestly I don't even feel like my arms are that thick. Like I'm not a, like a big person. I would say I'm pretty average sized depending on where you live, I guess. But really, I, anyways, I bought this in an extra small. The whole point of it is, is that I bought this in an extra small because they didn't have a size small that day when I was there. And I wanted to wear this cool looking leather jacket to this event. So I tried on the extra small. I mean, it fit, it fits, it's, it still does, but my arms are tight in this thing. And you'll see it in the try-ons that, the arms are tight and so don't even think about layering any thick like thick sweaters under this at least not for me in the size that I got so sometimes I just find this jacket I don't wear it because it's very limited in how I can wear it so I have a couple more pea coats to share with you guys honestly I love pea coats and their wool coats are so beautiful the next one is their infamous Stedman jacket from Babaton and I have it in this beautiful camel color and this has been a staple in my winter closet worn this consistently year after year after year obviously it's not a very thick version I know nowadays they've come up with an updated version where there is a lined version it's a little bit more expensive but it also provides a little extra layer of warmth for mine I have the older version where it is unlined on the inside and it's honestly it's not the warmest jacket but on the days when you are looking to get a little bit more dressed up I'm assuming that you won't be going outside or staying outside for an extended period of time and so this jacket works perfectly fine I love that it is nice and straight and it's just got that classy look to it that looks really good and then with the black button detail it's really nice because then you can pair it really easily and it ties really nicely with black boots and things like that and it's just beautiful in a black bag for instance I just love this jacket and I've worn it every year since I bought it and I haven't stopped wearing it and because I love this jacket so much I had to get the slouch coat which is next so the reason why I have this one and the slouch coat which I'll show you guys it's even in the same similar color the slouch coat is this one right here the slouch coat is kind of to me it's a bigger oversized baggier version of the Stedman coat the Stedman coat is a fitted version it's shorter it's just fitted to the body whereas the slouch coat is bringing back that oversized look it's beautiful it's longer and it's lined and this one is so warm according to the rating scale this one can go down to minus 20 I personally wouldn't wear this when it's minus 20 out because I just feel like it just wouldn't be warm enough but this one definitely will keep you warm when it's like minus 15 or like if you're not looking to stay outside for long this one would do perfectly fine the thing that I love the most about this Stedman jacket is that you can wear it dressed up you can wear it dressed down I've worn it with a dress I've worn it with leather pants and I've worn it with heels or knee-high boots I've also worn it with white sneakers and some joggers and a sweatshirt regardless of how you style it this jacket just makes you look so put together my version is the camel haired version there's one that's kind of like more like a, a proper wool and cashmere blend this one is like a recycled camel hair and something else blend regardless it is very warm and the fact that it is lined does provide that extra warmth in it I can even fit some of my chunkiest thickest knits underneath this and my arms don't ever feel like it's tight there's still room to move and it's very very comfortable we are finally on my last jacket that I have from Aritzia and 
Honestly, would I be a true Aritzia fan if I didn't own a super puff? <laughs> This is my newest addition to my jacket collection. And oh my God, it is beautiful. I love it. This is the Super Puff 02 version, which means it's like the, it's the, what you call it? The waterproof version. And so this here, I didn't realize they had different versions of the Super Puff. I guess since they've launched the whole Super Puff line, they've really gone in and kind of fine-tuned everything and changed things and added details and like kind of separated things into their own categories. And so this is one of the categories is the O2 version. And this jacket here, like I said, it's waterproof and you cannot remove the hood, unlike the regular Super Puffs where you can remove the hood and uh, it's like water resistant, not waterproof. This one here is also windproof and the stitching on this, the poofiness part, how they do the stitching here. It's slightly different than the regular Super Puff, as well as the zipper. The zipper is also like a matte black, and the trims here are all matte black, which I actually really like. I have been wearing this jacket a lot. The, my color is in the modern taupe color, and I got it in a size extra small. It is really warm. This is the shorty version. If I didn't mention that, I apologize. The shorty version hits me right at my waist, and it just fits perfectly because I'm about five foot four, and so the longer version doesn't look so flattering on me. I love wearing this with black leggings and some you know Ugg boots. My favorite part is obviously the color. I don't have a jacket in this color in my collection and it's just makes me so happy when I look at it. It's just beautiful. So there you have it. Those are all of my winter jackets from Aritzia in my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have some of the same ones that I do, let me know down in the comment section down below which ones you have, which ones are your favorites. If you guys like today's video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!